the bitterness of an incident guides the narrative of our lives throughout. Hi everybody, my name is Deepak Ramola and I love people and I have been asking them for a long time what is their life lesson. This series is all about passing on that wisdom and sharing those learnings with you. I believe we all experience in life moments when we are shaken to our core or even damaged in one form or another. The point to observe, however, is that while some people start the process of repair immediately, others wait for an entire lifetime for someone else to fix them. To live is to be both benefited and bruised, and maybe bruised more than benefited for some. The bitterness of an incident guides the narrative of our lives throughout. You can almost taste the tension in the words of a person, gauge the spitefulness in their strategies, and sense the vibe in the vengeance a person carries. Trisha Shetty, a brilliant young woman who advocates the rights of young girls and women dealing with sexual abuse on global stage, once shared with me her life lesson as your trauma defines you, but you get to choose how it defines you. This life lesson was validated for me with a letter I received a few months ago from another young girl who had watched one of the episodes in the last season of Twice as Wise. With her due permission, I read to you the letter she wrote to me word for word. Hi Deepak, you have made such a huge impact on my life. I would not be the person I am today without you and I know that you will keep inspiring me to become an even better version of myself. You taught me the wonders of people and how they can change my life. A year ago I was diagnosed with schizophrenia after I was raped by a stranger. Schizophrenia is a mental disorder that usually characterized by delusions, hallucinations and other cognitive difficulties. It is a lifelong struggle. I see his face daily and I feel he's following me. I wasn't able to go out of my house for days and days. I would lock myself out, shout out loud, cry and even hurt myself. I could see his face daily and sometimes he used to talk with me triggering a huge wave of negativity within me. I was so scared that I won't be able to survive this fight. Medication or even therapy wasn't working well because I did not have an internal motivation. I was helpless inside my own den. I did not talk much, did not do anything, and even forgot to trust my own friends. It was a very low key point in my life. I did not know how to pick myself up from pieces. It was a beautiful day when my friend came to visit me and she forced me to go on social media and be a bit active there. That's when I bumped into your video series Twice as Vice on Facebook. Trust me, you flattered me there. It was just a kick I needed to bring myself back and start the battle within me. I was so moved by it. That was the first time I cried and cried because I was feeling worthy of myself. I touched a human for the first time after that incident. I hugged my dear friend and cried to her. That moment was the best one. My friend had all the goosebumps all over seeing me. That was the biggest progress I made in days. I decided to never let myself down again. I picked myself up. I was done dealing with my rapist bullshit. I was done with the voices inside me. I made a routine to see your videos daily and visit Project Fuel page in order to keep myself motivated. I took great care of myself. Slowly, I show really great progress. I'm still not cured full. It's going to stay forever within me. I still hear him say negative things about me. I still hear his footsteps following me. But hey, you know what? My life is amazing now because I can answer them all back. I can just let it go in ignorance. Nowadays, I don't look back when I hear a footstep behind me. I keep moving ahead. You have taught me that you don't always have to be strong. You are allowed to break down as long as you pick yourself back up. 
and keep moving forward. I'm a fighter and I always will be. Thanks for making those videos and all the other content you create through people. Thanks for being a sunshine, a ray of hope in my life. Above all, thanks for saving a life like me. You are valued and mean a lot to me. If I won't tell my story, no one else will ever tell it. Here I am, sending you lots of hugs, warm and affection. <sighs> Only thing I can say after that is your trauma defines you, but you get to choose how it defines you. I hope that fuels your life. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, I'm happy to tell you there's more coming. You can send us your life lesson and be featured on this series. Visit us at projectfuel.in and share your life lesson. Let's learn from each other. 